Hi, I'm Sean Smith with South Coast Yachts, and today we're going to take a look at my new listing at J122. Come with me as we take a quick tour and walk through the boat. This J122 is a beautiful flag blue hull that was painted just a couple years ago. It is a 2008 model year, is in very good shape. All, everything is in really good condition. Really well kept here at San Diego Yacht Club. The boat has a split bow pulpit. I really like this, ease of access. You've got a retractable bow sprit that's gonna come out, so your tack line and the tack of the spinnaker going forward through the pulpit. It's really nice there. Nav lights are on, and we've got port and starboard spin halyards stored right now on the pulpit that go up to the masthead. Two spreaders on this carbon mast, painted white. It's a gorgeous boat. Outboard shrouds, broad rigging. We've got a adjustable Genoa car here, and I really like how the main sheet is a continuous loop to both sides. So you're going to see that shortly, but it's recessed into the deck. So main sheet's going to come out here just near the winch where it's going to be trimmed and then goes to both sides through the traveler which is mounted on the cockpit floor just forward of the, of the wheel. Just in time too. Nice gold code striping and boot stripes. Hop on board, take a look at the cockpit first. So you've got six Harkin winches, self-tailing. Beautiful traveler set up here. Running rigging is all in really nice shape. And look at this wheel, beautiful. Oversized, we got some cup holders, which are removable. And then um, you'll see there's a Switlick man overboard. Stored in the lazarette. Global throttle control right here, good position for maneuvering and steering, but also well out of the way. Where the shore power comes in is also where your tachometer and Volvo um, display is located. The boat has just over 400 hours on it currently. Love this cockpit design. So there's a swim ladder right on the stern. You can take these lifelines off if you want to swim, if you're cruising the boat. And then there are locks on the cockpit floor here. But opening up this compartment, you can see into the steering quadrant, super clean. The port side cabin top winch is electric, so if you're cruising, that's going to make life pretty easy. Just forward of that is your main halyard, so getting your main up and down, it is a big main. If you're cruising short-handed or racing short-handed, it's going to be really nice for getting your main up and down. The boat has updated B&G electronics, so the mass displays, those are awesome. Right now we've got a parent wind, you can switch that to Whatever you want to see here, the speed, wind, and we have depth currently. Mast base. It's a keel step mast, so we'll go see the mast step down below. Just a couple of steps into the companionway, we'll pan across the interior. Very nice nav station here with again the updated BNG. You've got the 12 inch multifunction display here. VHF radio, you've got some lights, and this panel looks like it's brand new. Here's your DC panel with also fuel and battery gauges up top, fire extinguisher, 
There's one of the two aft cabins. This is the three cabin, one head version. Another cabin here. Inside this cabin is where your AC panel is located. See, we have shore power in our outlets running right now for the dehumidifier. Starboard side, we've got our galley, two burner gimbaled stove, nice refrigeration. Lots of storage up above and uh, inboard. This is a really cool feature too. There's a lid for the trash can, so you can push anything into the trash and then remove the trash uh, from the forward side very easily. There are two nice long settees here, which are long enough to sleep. And then central is a beautiful table, folding leaves, and some storage inside. Uh, when you're racing, if you're folding spinnakers here, this is a padded uh, cover for this beautiful table. So you can leave that cover on, fold sails, gear across the top, and not worry about damaging that table. Beautiful table. Here's your carbon mask coming down to the keel. Here's the step. Some more storage along each side of the boat. There's an anchor back here. And then also below here is a water tank. Um, and below here is a, is a fuel tank. So that weight is nice and central on the boat. This boat does have air conditioning, so you'll see vents and uh, return air in a couple locations. Very nice luxury. Here's the head, and then your forward cabin, which there's plenty of headroom in here. It's nice to have a, a, a comfortable cabin to walk into, but also you can remove these cushions and uh, while you're racing, bringing sails into here. A nice place to douse spinnakers and, and store sails. While also maintaining quite a bit of storage. So there's nice locks on your doors. But look at all the cabinetry in here. Plenty of storage, hanging lockers. Really nicely laid out. The last thing we'll take a look at is the Volvo diesel couple of locks here and then a gas shock assist brings it up very nice alternator you can see the uh, engine light kicks on very clean and well-maintained engine like the rest of the boat thanks for joining me on this quick tour of the J122 I hope you found this video helpful and informative and if you have any more questions about the boat if you'd like to get on board yourself, feel free to contact me right away. I look forward to talking to you really soon.